Welcome guys to episode 100. I can't believe we've made it this far, but we have. <laughs> wow, incredible. 100 episodes, who would have thought, eh? That's right. So, if we wouldn't have been here without you guys. Well, thank you so, so much for following us and all your support throughout all the videos. Hopefully they've been getting better and better. And we're here in the beautiful San Blas Islands. We've got a bit of a rainy day though today. Yeah. Um, but that's not gonna keep our spirits down for this 100 video. <laughs> yeah. yeah guys, so 100 episodes. I can't believe we made the milestone. Um, two and a half years of traveling, over 20,000 nautical miles and at least 15 countries visited. It's been one heck of a journey. I'm Nat and this is James. For over two years we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content and much more. All right, guys, we're going to leave Chichime now and we're going to pick up the hook and we're heading to an anchorage in the East Lemon Keys. So it should be pretty easy. It's only 1.8 miles and there isn't a drop of wind, so we'll be motoring. So let's go. Goodbye, Chichime. And hello, East Lemon Keys. So we have to navigate between these group of reefs here tuck around in our anchorage which is over here. I also have my blockhouse charts which was given to us with all the tracks. So apparently these are much more accurate than the Navionics. I think somebody said to us that uh, Navionics will get you grounded in the sandblast. So yeah, we got two sources of information now so hopefully that should guide us through safely. But we've only got about another mile to go and we should be at our anchorage. Super short day today. Well guys, we are finding these sandblast islands to just be spectacular. I mean, a month feels like it's not going to be enough to explore all these islands. I mean, there's 400 in the chain, some tiny, tiny uninhabited islands, but just stunning. We're going through the reefs at the moment. I don't know if you can see behind me islands all over this way, honestly, just what a beauty. I think this is what the Pacific's going to be like, so uh, I'm pretty excited. Just islands with coconut trees on them. The Gunayala area where all the ind indigenous people still live and they are the nicest people we have come across. Um, I didn't expect anything different, but definitely they have been so, so welcoming, allowing us to stay uh, in their waters and near their islands where they live such a beautiful little life. I got told that they don't want electricity and they are happy to live without it uh, in these remote parts. Yeah, we had lots of lots of people come over selling their molas and they spend hours and hours working on those. So if you ever get the chance, definitely uh, buy some of those. They're absolutely beautiful and a nice little bit of traditional art to take with you, for sure. Captain, how's it gone? A little stressful at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Navionics is so wrong about this section, whereas the Blahouse charts are more accurate, but reefs, 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 reefs everywhere. Ah! Yeah. It's our first uh, reef dodging, though. Yeah, there's Bingo at the back. Just to show you how inaccurate now the onyx is in the sound blast, we just drove across that reef apparently. Well, we have made it to the East Lemon Keys. Don't ask me the name of the anchorage, I have no clue, but this is probably the most idyllic paradise. 
that we've ever been to since, I don't know, Greece. I don't know. We can't, we can't even think of a comparison, so. But as always with everything we do, after we anchor, we always jump in and check the anchor if it's possible, and it's possible today. Let's go have a look. The following morning, we join our friends and head off to explore the nearby islands and reefs. Princess back here. <laughs> this is the way to be brought into an island. What the heck? <laughs> Too shallow, so James has to walk. <laughs> oh, oh. Gunayala, formerly known as San Blas, is an indigenous province in northeast Panama. Officially, these islands are part of Panama, but are administered as a country within a country and led by the Kuna themselves. Thus, the islands lying within the Gunayala province are rich in traditions, following their own customs, laws and legislation, enabling them to preserve their natural environment and heritage. At this time, Stop asking why I'm struggling Stay It's a mystery why I'm here I guess I'm just too tired of fighting What you say James, where are we? Stomach aches in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Having a swim, right? Having a swim. Look, there's nothing around us. The only thing around us is Nat Neville. <laughs> <Or Nat Neville. laughs> wow, uh, amazing. Yeah, with my father. We are off to a little island over here to film the start and end of our 100th episode. And we got rained out earlier. We're on a paddleboard, Nat's paddling us. We're in croc infested waters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, instead of taking the dinghy, we're two to a paddleboard. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think about the carbon footprint. Carbon footprint, that's yeah. right. The 
this is definitely the best way to travel. <laughs> to our channel consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.